let's discuss how Stoicism helped to shape the Roman Empire. But before we get into details let's start by asking a very broad question for those who don't know. What is Stoicism? The answer starts with understanding its roots in ancient Greece. The term Stoic comes from a school of thought which originated on the Greek island called Stoapoikal. Hence Stoics are Stoic philosophers, who believe that logic should be used to understand nature as well as human behavior. They taught that what truly matters was not external gains such as wealth or fame but rather developing an inner strength through rationality. Acceptance of fate and practicing virtuous behavior towards others regardless of our position in life. In short, wisdom is gained through controlling one's emotions instead of being controlled by them. Let's take a closer look at how this idea developed over time. Starting with Socrates who emphasized knowledge over material possessions. Plato who focused on abstract theories about justice. Then Aristotle who argued for virtues like courage or temperance, finally arriving at Zeno around 300 BC who started putting together all these threads into what became known as Stoicism. He wrote down his teachings in three areas, logic, to understand nature, physics, to determine cause and effect, and ethics, for practical application. This combination gave rise to a system dedicated to helping people lead better lives by using reason instead of emotion to make decisions on how best to live according to nature's laws. A philosophy which would thrive for centuries in Rome without any major changes until eventually fading away during late antiquity in favor of Christianity and other schools such as Epicureanism. Now let's turn our attention towards exploring some notable ethical ideals found within Stoic teachings which helped shape Roman culture during its height between 100 BCE to 200 CE, virtue, resilience and self-control. Virtue firstly can be defined simply as goodness or right behavior. However, it had a much deeper meaning for Stoics who believed that it was an essential part of living a good life since it enabled us to not only act correctly but also feel fully satisfied once our actions have been made without judgmental attitudes or regretful decisions afterwards. Continuing with resilience which was another important concept related to Stoicism since following its teachings meant accepting adversity while still recognizing that everything happens for a reason so having faith in oneself rather than focusing too much on external events which could potentially cause harm. Last but not least comes self-control which teaches us both mental discipline over our passions while striving towards excellence at all times no matter what difficulties come our way. So now that we have explored these main ideas, let's take some time out looking at some examples from Roman literature where these concepts can be found notably with Marcus Aurelius' meditations written during his time ruling over the empire providing timeless advice on leading an extraordinary life filled with serenity. Finally I'd like you to remember that although Stoic philosophy may seem quite complex due to its long history spanning across many centuries from ancient Greece up until late antiquity when it was replaced by Christianity. Learning about it can help us better understand ourselves enabling us create more successful relationships both professionally and personally thereby allowing us experience true joy within our hearts.